Hi there! This is a how-to video on how to build your own soda bottle rocket launcher. This launcher is the Astrolaunch double barrel soda bottle rocket launcher. What is included in this kit? The two launch tubes fully pre-assembled, the two rip cords, the landscape staples to bolt it to the ground, the PVC pipe, the valve, the T's, the end caps and the valve, and the two couplers. Also, what you will need is PVC primer and PVC cement. Okay, step one. First, we're gonna primer and then cement the end caps onto the PVC. Now this stuff drips. Just put a little bit of primer in there, a little bit of primer in there, a little bit of primer in there, a little bit of primer in there. Now on here, we're going to go ahead and primer both ends because we will be connecting both ends. Now I put paper on the table because I don't want to have to worry about staining the table. These are primered. Let's cap back on. Now we only need to put the cement onto the ends of the caps. So I'm gonna put the cement into the first cap. Put this on, and you have to be quick. Get on as hard as you can. Okay, that's good. Next cap. This is the valve cap. Now this is cement, so it actually is doing a chemical reaction with the PVC. It's, it's basically welding the material together. four ends are together. Hi there. Okay, step two. We want a primer. The inside, these are the slip tees. All three ends are smooth. Do that one. This one. Okay, those are primer. Now we're going to cement them onto the tees. Now, now, this is your chance to figure out which corner you want to have the valve. In this particular one, we're going to have the valve over here. So I'm going to put through this guy first. Again, I'll just do the cement on the inside of this. Put this guy in. Do the cement over here. That is that side. Repeat the process over here. One more time. Okay, there we go. That is the end of step two. are the threaded tees. Slip on the sides, thread it in the middle. And it will be the launch tube that goes into the threaded part. And it'll screw into there. That's so that you can take it off later and store it. Alright, so there we go. So, let's go ahead and cement into... First, we're going to cement just one side of this. 
and we're going to put a 3 inch there. So the other side, another 3 inch into there. Okay. Now what we're going to do, this needs to be vertical. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit in here. get that vertical and again it dries almost instantly so that's your one chance to get that as close to perfect as you possibly can I think these are pretty good Hi there, this is step four. We're going to put the PVC ball valve on. First we want to do is the four ends of the seven and a half inch pipe. Purple primer over there. Purple primer inside of these holes. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the the two pipes into these holes, then we'll put this valve on next. Because this valve, you really want it to be square. Put that in there. Okay, move this out of the way, move this out of the way, okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of primer in here and I want this thing to be vertical, I'm only going to do one side at a time. It's pretty good. It's a little bit angled, but it's done. It's it's not going anywhere. It's already welded together. This thing welds almost instantly. It's very unforgiving. Okay. Here we go. So that's the on position. That's the off position. So real quick, when you pump it up, you pump here. It's in the on, it'll pump both rockets at the same time. When you're done pumping, you turn it off. All right, now to step five, we are gonna connect these adapter couplings to the launch tubes. So I primer, I'm gonna do this to both of them. Then get the PVC cement. Put that in here. Again, you want to do a really good job on these. Exactly. That's what it's supposed to look like. Alright, step six. This is the last part of it. We need to attach the launch tubes onto the platform, and I have a tool here to make it tight. So we just literally just screw it in. There we go, that should be plenty tight. Okay, this guy over here. That should be fine, right like that. Now the next part of it is to attach the rope. This is the launch rope. And a simple square knot will work just fine. So what you'll see, you look over here. Just a regular old square knot will work just fine.
Also, when you're launching this, you'll want to use actually the PVC pipe. Um, so you'll put it underneath it. It'll go like that when you have a bottle on it. Same thing over here. Simple square knot is all that we need. Doesn't have to be fancy. Done. And again, we'll wrap it underneath this. There you go. Oh, the so one last thing too, which will go um, when we talk about how to use it. We have these landscape staples. So you want to secure this to the ground because if your kids just happen to yank on it, you don't want this platform to move. So we have landscape staples. You'll just push them down. They don't have to be pushed down very far, just a couple, three inches. That's all it's gonna take to keep this from moving. All right, now that the launcher is built, it's time to actually use it. All right, this is how you load a rocket into the launcher. First off, if I really wanted to blast this thing off, I'd pour one quart of water into it. I would tip it upside down, put it onto here, go to there until the zip ties fit over it. And then there you go. And then if you see here, okay, you would pump it up to 60 to 80 PSI. Don't go above 120 PSI. It, it's an amazing flight. But if you go above 120, you risk popping the bottle. Uh, the PVC itself is 600 PSI rated, so you don't have to worry about the, the launcher breaking. This right here, this is a launcher with the Astro Fins and an astro chute, parachute. So this is how you would launch one of these. You fold this up. Fold, fold, fold. Put it into the nose cap. Put the cap on top. And you wanna leave just a little bit of rope dangling out just so that you don't have a vacuum seal. And there you go. Now, after you pump this up to 60 to 80 PSI, if you're gonna do two rockets, you leave it in the on position, pump it to 60 to 80 PSI. Once it's pumped, turn this off. Then you can launch individually one rocket or the other rocket, or you can launch them both at the same time. If you're only gonna use this for one rocket, you don't care about this one at all, you would always leave that in the off, and this would be the one that you would launch.